Hey, what's up, everybody? We're going to take a look today at my favorite, uh, one of my favorite ways to pass guard. Um, it's just a beneficial thing to have. A lot of people like to do knee cuts, and a lot of people like to do smash passing, hip scoops, all this stuff. But I'm very fond of the shin cut, especially when you don't want to be on two knees. Okay. Um, so we're going to take a look at that. And uh, so I'm going to have my partner here. I'm going to have Jacob on the ground. He's going to be inside here. So um, a lot of the times when the person's on their knees, okay, once they connect this, uh, this, this uh, calf to um, my back of my kneecap. What ends up happening is the person stays here. And personally, like I only practice this if I want to actively practice. Uh, because I'm a mobile competitor, or maybe you're a mobile competitor, or maybe you just don't feel comfortable on your knees. Um, I, I, when I'm on my knees, a lot of moves turn on for him. When I'm off my knees, right, and my knee comes up, I feel like I have, I, I'm able to move around a lot more. Okay, so what I'm looking to do here is when he has the knee shield in, right, or I'm on my knee, I want to make sure I'm off my knee, get up. And the way I want to look at this is I want to, he can lock his ankles together. And you see how, like, his ankles are locked behind my hip, okay, um, have a good knee, knee shield. Now, what I'm looking to do is to turn and point my knee out through the shin, okay. A lot of the times, whether this is locked or not locked, and it's here, and I want to pressure forward, I can't physically go forward because the shin is on my hip bone and we have to respect the frames because uh, it's a bone structure, okay? So it will push me away if he does it correctly. Obviously, there's ways that we can smash and we can go through here. But one of the best ways I like to do, especially like when they're holding my head, is to turn my knee to the outside, grab his arm, okay? Cut out and around, all right? Now pull him with me. And usually I can get close enough to do a pass or... I can come around and sneak towards the back. Okay. When we're looking at this, the plus side is that we negate having pressure his hip, him putting his shin bone on my hip, which means that when he tries to kick me away, I don't fight it. I just go with it. The downside, okay, is that there's a big gap of space. So you do have to uh, be mindful of inversions and inverted triangles, things like that, okay? Um, but it works really well, especially like if you could even chain it with either hand through the middle, just knee cutting out. You can do smash pass and around, cupping the head, staying low, pulling the leg out, or stretching out his bottom leg. Anything of this matter will do a pretty good job getting around. You do have to watch out for when you come around that he doesn't invert uh, and you leave your hand inside and there's like a reverse triangle. Okay, come back. Scoot over. So when we're here, just remember, like we're here, this is kind of like accepting the half guard. I, if I don't want to accept that, I just get up to my knees and I push through. You can pressure through, you fight. A lot of the times I will put pressure on him and then pull my knee externally, right? Point it through the shin, hence shin cut. So I want to put it through the shin. I want to ride his own pressure. So when I come pressure in, he has to turn this on to keep me away. And so I ride with it. So when he shoot when he shoots it out, I come out on the side and I right. Sorry, malfunction. Okay. So there's a lot of things we can do here. Guys, bear with me. Don't don't get upset. Right. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. So Mike fell off and, and we gotta get it on on point. Okay, so there's a lot of things we can do here. When I, I can come around, I can do darses when I shin cut through. I can do guillotines, right? There's a lot of things you can do, but the main thing is for me is that the idea of like if you are a beginner or advanced and you want to get off your knees so that you don't have to stay stuck in that to that half guard uh, sequences, we'll be able to put pressure in, point it out, come through. You can put your hand through the middle. You can pass here with the fist pushing the knee away, okay, and the knee replaces. Your arm can come inside and you can come around, okay, and get here. Okay, obviously I'd be more tighter if I was being uh, serious, right? So there's, there's a lot of things we do. We can smash, we can put the knee up, redirect, and then shin cut out. Just keep in mind there's always space that's made. So we have to cup the head. Unlike having the gi where I can grip the cloth, I want to really cup his head, right? Or I want to have attachment to his arm where I pull his shoulder forward and continue to ride through, okay? And just keep that in mind, this concept of when I'm pressuring in, right, and he puts pressure into me, if I fight it, it'll be better for him. If I go with it, it'll be better for me. 
And sometimes that leaves his knee to drop low where I can come out, where I do a shin cut to a smash pass, shin cut to a step around, okay? Right? Or I can do a shin cut to a Dars, okay? A lot of variations there. Now I'm not gonna go over the details for each submission and each pass, but ideally wanna have that concept of negating the knee shield and the half guard for one, stepping up the knees off the ground, and then as well as taking your knee and pointing it through the shin, cutting around, having different controls and different variations to get the pass or finish. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if you like this, please uh, give me a subs uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, give me a like on Instagram. I like my page. I got info information there all the time. And uh, I have a bunch of little videos coming out here and there. Try to keep it consistent as I can for you guys. And uh, don't forget the Junior Locks on Submeta.